What's going on everyone, Juice Bags here and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be knocking out the wart's leg and not just getting it, but what do you do with it after you get it? So first things first, let's hop on in. Uh, you have to get down to the labyrinth on level 9. When you get to level 9, you're going to find this black mushroom here somewhere. Uh, once you get the black mushroom and loot it, that's going to give you a rotten mushroom. Once you get this rotten mushroom, you can just go ahead and head on back out and head right back over to the start of the event. So if we head back over and we'll go down and back through the portal and uh, that is going to take us back over to the beginning of the event. Now, once we're here, we can head on up and instead of just going straight up to go back into the labyrinth, let's go ahead and take a little detour and head right down this way. Now, once you get down here to this little hut, you see Adria's cauldron here. So you're going to want to go ahead and use the cauldron and that is going to go ahead and give you the witch's brew. Once you get the witch's brew, you're going to want to head right back over to the start of this particular zone and just going to click on some corpses. So the first corpse up is going to be Farnum and we're going to get the drunkards, drunkards debt off of Farnum. Um, he's going to be laying right over here, Farnum's corpse. That's going to give us the drunkards debt. After we go ahead and click on Farnum, we want to go to Ogden. Uh, Ogden is going to be laying right up here. Now, once we click on Ogden, we're going to get Garda's letter and we want to take Garda's letter over to Pepin. Now, Pepin, we just passed by. Uh, this one is going to give us the healer's prescription. And then after we get the healer's prescription, we can come right over here to Griswold's corpse. And that is going to give us the plan for Wart's leg. Now, if we go ahead and head on back into town, we're going to use this. Of course, it is a blueprint. We're going to use this at our trusty blacksmith and unlock the plans for Wart's leg. And then we'll be able to craft one. This is a mace. Uh, it's going to cost you 10 reusable parts and a million gold. We'll go ahead and craft one. Now you've got it. You've got Wart's leg. You unlock the last achievement uh, for the Darkening of Tristram event. But what do you do next? Well, next you're going to want to go ahead and salvage Wart's leg. Uh, salvaging Wart's leg is going to give you the map of the stars. So since we've got the map of the stars, let's go ahead and head right back over to the event itself and use this map. So we're going to run back up to where the cauldron was at. And if you look on the description of the map, uh, you probably weren't supposed to find this old map. It appears to have a hoof print stamped on it and the numbers 213. The numbers 213 are your clue in case you forget, and that is the order in which you're going to want to click on these dead cows over here in the ground. So you got one, two, and three, and we're going to go two, one, and finally on three. Now, this is going to open up the abandoned farmstead. We're going to head on into the abandoned farmstead and grab us some loot. Uh, by heading on into this one, you're going to get a little bit of gold, but additionally, you're going to get yourself that wonderful cow pet. So just head right on over to the middle of the map to Wurt's Stash. And Wurt's Stash is going to give you the royal calf. And now you are going to have the cow pet in Diablo 3. We'll take a quick look at that one here. And there we go, the royal calf. So if we equip that, then we got us a uh, lovely little cow cruising around. So hopefully that helps everyone uh, get Wurt's leg, complete the achievements, and get their cow pet in the Darkening of Tristram event in Diablo 3. So thanks so much for watching, and I will see ya next time around. Take it easy.